Hello everyone, uh, this is Asya. Welcome to our farm. So today I'm gonna show you how we go to our immortal forest. The way. Let's start from our walnut tree. These trees are our walnut trees that we use. We don't need to buy walnuts whole year <laughs> thanks to them. So when we go to this side, this is the whole walnut tree. This is the, the baby one. This is our mulberry tree. You see these black ones? Yeah. It's mostly white, it isn't done yet, but this is all the way. <laughs> this is one of the biggest mulberry that we have. Mm. Next to them, we have pomegranate tree. If you see, I love the color. Hello insect! <laughs> it's still in the flowers. There is another mulberry tree, uh, mulberry tree. This is the white version. We mostly have black mulberries, but this one is the white one. Mm. This is look what. They are so delicious. <laughs> By the way, if you see uh, among our, this is all pomegranate trees. Uh, we plant vegetables that we eat. This. For example, our tomatoes. This side we also have another mulberry tree. These are so delicious. Yummy. <laughs> so after our fruit trees, we go to the forest, we are trying to make a door <laughs> for the wild pigs. They are coming so much and dig the ground and damaging the plants. We have to do something for them. This side, you see, is the forest. It's the pine forest mostly. And this side is the house of our animals. We have one cow, uh, 10 sheep, one cow, goat. I love the birds singing. <laughs> These pine trees, by the way, we make also essential oil from them. Uh, I can show you later on. We use the young leaves, not the old ones. So here we come to our olive oil side of the farm. We make our own olive oil as we don't use any chemicals or like chemical boosters or so on. They only give uh, once in two years. So they're very precious for them, for us. And we plant herbs among them. Right now we are going to the lavender side. I have to make another video why we plant herbs. <laughs> it has a really nice story behind it. Here another one, mulberry tree. Yes! Here, the all other trees that you see have lavenders among them. Now we're gonna see one. Look at this. They're in blossom. They're about to have flowers. Uh, 
If you notice, uh, these are the ones that I cut last week and I didn't throw them away, I put it just next to them for them to nurture the plants, the lavenders. If you see, uh, we don't have water pipes. It is all like dry farming on the rainwater. This another thing that our pig pig <laughs> big. <laughs> I think they're uh, trying to find a kind of a uh, plant. Uh, under the ground is like onion, look like onion. That's why they dig it. So here are pine trees. In another video, I will explain why we choose lavenders and immortal as a plant the herbal plant that we want to use here it's all olive tree here the house that we started it's our house we started our video there we're still walking <laughs> yeah i yeah i can show it this pine tree here the tree you see is very small one and actually we don't want them too close to the olive trees because the worms on them damage the olives a lot so what we do we uh, use we do the essential oil from them this is another mulberry tree this is a special kind it's uh, the black one if you they're still in red side but i will show you it's black but it's not sour it's so sweet this is a different type mm, i want to show you these flowers hello hello bee and another insect this uh, plant called ladan we make tea from them i want to show you another another herbal it's around here a lot i think oh, i forgot the name i think it was theme i will write it under the video this is the herbal let me see show you oh my god it smells great <laughs> Ah, there's another herb that I want to show you. I'm sure you're all familiar with that plant. It's, I think it was St. John. Here, or here, here. I'm not sure if it's seen in the video. You put it in olive oil, of course, <laughs> our olive oils, <laughs> and leave it under sun like 40 days. It turned out to a very red, um, oil I use it for my son a lot and another oil that I use is mint essential oil okay another mulberry tree my parents plant a lot of mulberries <laughs> okay yeah, we are getting closer to the mortar. Ah, oh, there is one tree that I want to show you. This is this is called wild uh, strawberry or forest strawberry. You see here, this it turned out like a very big red um, red fruit. It's very sweet and it's very. Uh, we didn't plant it; it was there. <laughs> this forest behind me has a lot of wild strawberries like that one. This is another mulberry tree. Here we come to our immortal site. Here are pine trees and immortals. I think it is more not yet tree lines. 
You see, it's in blossom. This tree, I'm sure you're all familiar with the fruit. It's goji berry. Yeah. Goji berry is a good one. <laughs> this is, oh, look at this one. Yeah, this side is all immortal. Here, this all you see is uh, fruit trees and there are immortals among them. I want to show you one fruit tree that is very important for us, precious for us. This is this one. I know there is no fruit on it, but these ones are cranberry. Uh, cranberry is very high. It's very rich in, in vitamin C. I hope there is no snakes around. <laughs> Day. As you see, the plants that I cut, I put it around them. So when the rain comes, it will stay longer, the wet staying longer. We also have apple trees here. We have um, apricot, pear, and palm trees. I want to show you, especially this side. If you see this line, there are fava beans and there are immortal. Look at these immortals. <laughs> This is pear. You see? The root. If you notice, uh, we don't take off these fava beans because we want them to turn to seeds and uh, we don't want to plant them again and again. We want to have a sustainable uh, way for them to grow. It's a Fukuoka way. <laughs> I have. I think I should make another video about uh, natural farming and Fukuoka. Okay, we walk around in our immortal. Here you see this line. This line I cleaned like a month ago, but as you see, there are a lot of plants came up. It's not like the baby plants need more effort because, for example, this is a this is like a three years old, uh, the old one. But when you compare it to the new ones, uh, if you notice, there are not a lot of plants around the old ones, but the baby ones need a lot of effort. I want to show you one more thing about dry farming. Oh, look at this one. You see, it's all olive trees here. Oh my god, they already open! <laughs> so beautiful! <laughs> yeah! If you notice, there I purposely put stones next to our immortals. Here, here. When you take it off, it is wet here. So it can feed the immortal more. For example, let's check this one. You see, it is wet and helping Immortal to get its water from it. Okay. So I try to put as much as stone as possible. Let's walk from here. 
if you notice we don't have water pipes or so on actually immortal and lavender was our choice uh, by purpose because we don't have that much water and our olive trees don't want water that much too so it was a choice made by purpose <laughs> you see we are still walking next to our olive trees they are all immortals they are the older ones actually uh, I can show you let's go this way they're the older ones therefore they don't need that much effort you see they're beautiful again pigs <laughs> dig the ground so we we give time to our baby plants instead of the older ones after three years baby plants don't want that much effort as well so we are still walking by the way I just come to the olive uh, I just come to the immortals that in olive trees we have another field next to the forest I can make another video from there as well I want to show you this tree this is a very old gorgeous olive tree look at her beautiful <laughs> I love her so this site as you see it the pomegranate trees you remember <laughs> this site is before the pomegranate tree site it is the Fukuoka garden part of our farm uh, it's it's different from just not using chemicals it's about like no drill you don't pay effort to plant uh, you just throw seed seed balls this site is fava beans that we make for the seeds we use the seeds of the fava beans for nurturing the ground so here we come to the walnut tree that we started our walk thank you very much for watching if you have any questions please write have a nice day Bye-bye.